I've never been ashamed to say that I don't like the Michael Bay Transformers movies. In my opinion, they fail in pretty much every way that matters, but that doesn't mean we didn't get a few good things out of them. For example, in Dark of the Moon's Cyberverse line, we got our first new toy of the Autobot poster board for overcompensation, known as Guzzle. I always liked the original Guzzle. The Sparkabots in general were fun, if not gimmicky, little bricks to play with. I used to race them against the Throttlebots on the kitchen floor, but with no cartoon appearances and me not really reading much of the Marvel comics, because my mother felt comics were a waste of literature, I didn't really know much about Guzzle. It wasn't until IDW's Last Stand of the Wreckers comic that Guzzle really came into any sort of prominence. After that story, it was awesome to see him finally get a new toy. Cyberverse Commander Guzzle is a pretty simple little figure, but that doesn't stop him from being fun. Gone is the sparking gimmick of the past, which frees up his legs to actually move. What I like about this particular movie figure is that it achieves a rarity in the movie lines, where it actually looks like the character it's meant to be. Of all the characters the designers could have made stand out and look like a modern live-action take of their G1 counterpart, they chose to try it out on Guzzle. And honestly, it works really well. I love the bright yellow chest and the shock of blue on his face. It makes his sculpting details pop. He also comes with a compact little hand cannon, in a nod to his IDW counterpart. And despite his Cyberverse price point, he actually has a decent amount of articulation. His overall look is a short bot with a massive inferiority complex, with his compensation on full display. Where Guzzle really surprises is in his transformation, flipping and folding with a surprising amount of complexity for such a tiny toy, to form a really compact and incredibly detailed tank. Now, sadly, the turret doesn't rotate, but it's still a great-looking vehicle mode. Tons of sculpting details wherever you look, and paint apps that just bring it to life. Guzzle is such a fun character, with a goofy name and unique design in any generation. He arrived on the scene when I wasn't buying many Transformers, and I remember having a lot of fun tracking him down. It's a shame we haven't seen him return in some of the more recent lines. I think he and the other Sparkabots deserve another day in the spotlight.